hey hey welcome replay viewers it is time for health and wellness i'm here with miss lisa and we want to talk about money and health and how that goes hand in hand kind of a um extension hey guys on what we talked about in paratherapy look who's here hi everybody hey frank Hey, Pam, Brittany. Hey, Brittany, <laughs> Pam. Oh, it's great to see you guys. Yeah. And and if you guys are new and joining in, I'm Devin DeVasquez. This is Miss Lisa Waldrop. And please click on the icon below. Even in the replay, share with your peeps to Twitter yep. and Facebook. And don't forget to follow Miss Lisa here and me. I'm here at Cure Programs. Because it's Tuesday, you know she's coaching me to be a life coach. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, you guys. So she wanted to enlighten you guys today and educate, too, on what we talked about in paratherapy, and that was money. Exactly. And what, we're going to give you four. Oh, I'm sorry. You have the, the flu cookie. Oh, I hate Feel cookie. better, honey. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Four, Hi, sweetheart. But we're going to give you guys four reasons why wealthy is healthy when you're wise. Especially with tax season coming up, you guys. I'm going to give you some business after this, um, later on today, about taxes, because I've got to do it. Wise indeed, super Steve, Stevie boy. I love that. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, you guys, if you guys are new and joining in, I'm Devin DeVasquez. This is Miss Lisa Waldrop. Please click on the icon below and share and follow. Share to your peeps to Twitter and Facebook so we can get more people in here. Oh. Yeah, don't get you started about taxes, no, Brittany. Taxes. Oh, God. But, you, you know, know what they said? Somebody had mentioned, how could you be optimistic in a world like this? And that's actually what we're going to talk about today because it's very linked to what we're talking about. And the first thing I need to tell you is... What's the first tip? Well, the first thing before we get to the tip is people always think, well, wealthy means you're superficial. I'm not talking about necessarily money, okay? Money is important but what money buys you is what freedom 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 opportunities mm -hmm. security and when you have those things that's when you're healthier so um, the first tip because you're getting rid of that stress remember we talked about in paratherapy if you guys miss me in paratherapy on Sunday you can go to catch k a t c h dot me and you can catch that one because I gave a whole scope on money okay so okay go on so the most important thing to know is first of all um, people who know true wealth okay that means more time more freedom more flexibility more opportunities is optimism and somebody had asked about that how do you be optimistic how do you be positive how do you keep your mind body and spirit in balance because that's what health and wellness from us is all about you guys. It's keeping your mind, body, and spirit in balance. So wealth or abundance thinking, as Devin talks about and she mm -hmm. talked about on Sunday, is that positive thinking and positivity because as Because your your thoughts and your feelings manifest your reality. Exactly. Right? Okay. And when you think positive and you think abundance minded, what happens? You live longer. There's studies from every from the Mayo Clinic, from Harvard. Every study shows optimistic thinking means that people tend to live longer. Now, that's a generality. It's not always true, but it's important because somebody had asked, why are we optimistic? Well, because we know it's healthier. It's an abundance thinking mentality. Yeah, and you well, I say manifest too often. Let me tell you, I manifest everything in my life on a daily basis because I'm consciously thinking about my thoughts and my feelings and making sure they're staying in balance. And that leads to more abundance in her life, more freedom, more opportunities. She gets to take you on when you guys go and see behind the scenes entertainment events with Yeah, Devin. you guys get to see a lot from me. I mean, you, I give you guys cooking scopes. I give you guys paratherapy where we get a little deeper and into all of this type of of stuff and yes um, I do I do meditate 
And the reason that's important is because that also affects your mindset. And that abundance thinking is a mindset that you have to cultivate. And that's what Devin's been talking to you guys about. Another thing is, okay, so one, it gives you optimism, which means you live healthier lives. Number two, believe it or not, when you're an optimist and when you have abundance thinking, guess what? People like to be around you. Like, I love to be around her, right? Energy. The and, energy is good, and right? And when you have great energy, you tend to have more social invitations. And why is that important? Because it builds on itself. People who have more social invitations have more opportunities financially, emotionally, spiritually in every way. And haven't you guys heard that saying, opportunity, preparation meets opportunity? You're preparing yourself when you're conscious of keeping your mind, body, and spirit in balance. And Lisa here, being the life coach and the in the health profession, her husband is a weight loss surgeon. She is a, an attorney. You know, you, you have, she has the credentials in the health field so she knows what she's talking about folks yes so the four reasons wealth or abundance thinking makes you healthy the first says well yo i work a hundred hours a week to pay my ex-wife and her kids how are you supposed to stay positive honey get another job <laughs> really <laughs> honestly when you hate going to your job when you're putting that kind of energy negative you're gonna get more of that back Negative. to you. Yes. Try to turn it into a positive. Find the fact that you love your kids and you wanna provide for your kids. And that, focus on and that. And focus on that. Or, I mean, one of the things I do in my coaching practice, and I'm certified as a professional coach to help you find the areas that you're passionate about. I don't care if it's music, I don't care if it's uh, being a firefighter, it doesn't matter. But when you do that, you tend if you live your passion to be successful financially. If you hate your kids, hate is a very powerful wow. emotion, you guys. And you can't it's be optimistic. It's a negative emotion. Right. You're only gonna bring more of that negative. negativity to you. Right. You have to change your way of thinking. Now let me ask you, if you're around somebody who hates, are you gonna want to be their friend? Are you gonna wanna be around them more? No, we show, studies show in the medical industry and otherwise that Exactly. It's ignorance sometimes that we hate. We but hate what we, if you're working a job you hate, you need to change out. that. If you're in a situation with your, with your partner, your spouse, or your kids, and you hate it, you need to change that because right. that's not healthy for you. It's certainly not healthy for other people being around you yeah. either. And then it not only hurts your health because pessimists do worse in health, mm -hmm. but it also lowers your ability to have opportunities in the social setting. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things Wealthy I do... Wealthy people, when you, when you acquire wealth, you want to be around other people who have the same mindset. Right. You know, uh, like energy attracts like energy. Right. So if you're hating... You're only going to attract more of that. That's true. So one of the reasons I offered the free um, coaching is so if you're in a situation like that where you have no hope, it's very hard to be optimistic. Let's 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 just free be honest coaching here. for her from her, you guys. You know, you just go to Miss Lisa. Yes, and it's and online. Follow her, and she's going to start scoping. I broke her cherry. She's going to be scoping a lot more. So you'll see a lot more of her without me. And she's coaching me to be a life coach, so you're going to start seeing a little bit of her coaching me, too. Absolutely. Plus, we're here every Tuesday to give you guys health and wellness tips. Right. So you get the spiritual wisdom from me on Wisdom Wednesdays and paratherapy, but you're also going to get the health and the benefits tips. from yeah. her. Because, you know, you're not... We're, uh, Devin always says we're like ripples in a pond, right? And fix my hair. All oh, right. right, fix my <laughs> hair. Okay, I just threw my hair up this morning. I could not deal with it today. But you know what? We're optimistic, so we think we look great. And we <laughs> know who we are. So when you know who you are and you feel joyful about life, there's something that brings other people to you. So I want to talk to you about a third uh, reason why. Um, your son stole your Toyota Camry. That's not good. No. Is that, that's maybe... Is that oh, the reason you. why you hate him? <laughs> <laughs> but um, the reason that you want to be an optimistic person and the reason that abundance thinking helps you in your health is that you 
are a person who sees others' success. Like, I watch her success or Ron's success, and it makes me inspired. I don't feel jealous, like, oh, wait a second, they have something I can't have. It. In fact, what I've learned to do, and I teach my clients to do, is look at somebody else's success as, as a an blueprint. opportunity. Yes. A blueprint. Follow their success. Because you can do it your way and then you can like, you know, learn from people who are successful. He's 20, addicted to a weird to weird Japanese cartoons. We'll try to get him on this instead of those weird Japanese cartoons and hopefully we can give him some great tips on how to turn it around. Because I'm a believer that if you have the understanding and you know the tips, you can do anything. You really can. I'm living proof of it. You guys know a little bit of my story. You knew I grew up in and out of foster homes. You know I've been on my own since I was 16. You know that I'm also an author, a best-selling author. I'm an Emmy award-winning producer. I'm, I, I, I'm in real estate. I learn by life, you guys. Okay. What I give you is things I know about life. That's so, what I love about Periscope is that we can just communicate one-on-one -on -one like this and that's the that's the gift of a abundant-minded person you can actually give to other people Mwah! and get richer wealthier now when I say this I mean richer in your heart your body your mind and your soul so how are those things related they they are because we're three-part beings right and your so, mind and your spirit needs to be nourished right just like your body and thank you, Seth, for joining. And um, it's good. I'm Lisa Waldrop. I'm a certified life coach and advocate. I'm here talking to you about why being wealthy can give you more health when you're wise. Now, we talked about different kinds of wealth. You know, wealth. It's not money, per, per se. We did that. It's you know, doing so what you love, loving what you do, knowing that you can make money from your passion, that you can be of value to other people, and that it's okay and having a good um, understanding that money is energy. Right. And that you're going to attract the energy that you have around money. Should you turn off your son's data plan so he can't watch the screen? <laughs> no, you should let him watch these on Tuesday because we can get him some good help. No, 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 no. He's, yeah. he's saying, should he turn off his... Yeah, it sounds like your son is a little spoiled. Maybe make him get a job. That's you know? a good idea. That would because be good for him. Then not only... Now, this is what we're talking about wealth. Wealth doesn't necessarily mean money. What does money give you? Freedom opportunity that's the second one Op optimism. optimism optimistic people live longer and it gives you the ability to be around people who are successful right and at the same time be able to know that you're capable of achieving what they have what? i agree pam he's 20 he's 20 he needs to get a job that's good for your son is to teach him by example like you know when you when they reach a certain age Giving them and ha having them be self-entitled is not good for them. It's not good for them. They need to learn responsibility. And Devin's concerned for everyone. That's part of the reason we do this. And that's part of the reason that being wealthy, body, mind, and soul, allows you something else. Expression. The freedom to get online, express yourself, go to work. That's why we're wearing our jackets. We're working today. And it gives us that self-esteem. So you just got divorced and have been a housewife for so long. Where do you start in getting wealthy? You start well, with your passion. What are you passionate about? What would you do for free that would make you really happy? Right. If you it, Then that doesn't feel like work. And if you're following your passion, the money's going to come. I did a whole scope on that. You can go to catch.me and look at that scope. Right. And, you know, one of the things, um, I work with people in transition. I'm a certified coach for people who, and I specialize in women in transition, such as yourself. Yes. So if you've been a housewife and you're going into the work environment, that's my specialty. And I offered my, our, the Scope fans, really, Periscope fans, have this one-time opportunity. It's to do coaching with me, and I Free can help consulta you start. Great consultation with Miss Lisa. Follow her. Her her handle is in the title of this Scope, you guys. And then she can give you more insight on that topic. I have several girlfriends who have been in long-term marriages who are have 
are starting out in the workforce and they don't know where to start, you know? And so I say start with your passion. Yes. If you're a teenager, you want to teach your teenagers responsibility, find out what they're passionate about and encourage that passion. You've been married for 32 years. Good. Wow. wow, good for wow. you. Well, it's... It, is this the same person who? Who's no, I don't. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay, but we well, should recap. Let's yes. recap those four reasons why being wealthy. And when we say wealthy, we mean Abundance wealthy blended. in your mind, body, and spirit. Oh, it's Gina. Okay. Hi, Gina. Oh, you're on your second marriage. I okay. am too. And you know what? There was a time I didn't think I could ever do anything. I was very hurt. So that's why I specialize in people in transition. You should do a whole scope on this. I that will. would be a great scope for you to do by yourself. Would you guys be interested in that? Transitioning from a long-term marriage into She has experience with that, you guys. So follow her and you will get that. Okay, so four daughters, two granddaughters. You're so blessed. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks, Pam. I'll so, so you you know, I've introduced you guys to some pretty nice people. I only introduce you to the best people, and that I feel that can help enlighten, educate, or entertain you, because that's what it's all about here on Periscope. We're a very positive community. I yes. love my Perry family. I want you to be the best you can be in every area of life. You know, and, and we love you. We love you we so do. much. And we and I feel like we're ripples in a pond Absolutely. when we can spread. That's why sharing is caring, folks. Click on the icon, share, and hit follow. those hearts. I need some hearts too, guys. She needs so hearts. follow me. Starting over after a long marriage, ending in divorce. Lord, help us find our way. Well, that's you know a what? big topic. I think Miss that, Lisa should yes, take that. Yes, I one. specialize in that because of my own experiences. And when I left my marriage. I was not in a good place. I always say I, um, I was in poverty, but poverty wasn't in me. So right. I know you guys are saying, how can you, um, how could you do that? How could you stay positive in this world? Oh it's my a God. wealth or abundance mindedness. It's so, so important. So wealthy or abundance thinking, you tend to be an optimist, live longer. You get more social invitations, which gives you opportunities to make more money or uh wealth because people like thinking. being around positive people Absolutely. sorry if you're an asshole <laughs> nobody's gonna want to be around you okay <laughs> the third thing is when you see a friend or someone you love succeeding and cheer them thinking, on yes instead of thinking wow this means i have less no the universe is huge it's got resources that we can't even Put our minds around plus so when they're you see a that, blueprint for yes. you they're a walking living blueprint for you to follow and when you know that by the way excuse me i'm having some water when you know that you have faith because whatever your faith might be somebody mentioned muslim somebody said christian mm -hmm. it doesn't matter you have faith because your you're god we say doing, universe we mean whatever your god is but you're seeing somebody who's been put into your life by god the universe who offers you an example that's why this is so important we spend our life trying to figure out what you guys want so we could share it with you that's abundance mining thinking because we know when we share more with you, we are better people. We get more back. It's an energy exchange. That's exactly why like I, I did said. a whole scope on gratitude, being thankful, having gratitude. That's where money and abundance in life starts, you guys. Be grateful for what you already have. Be thankful for the fact that you have good health and that you have money, money does is, help it's energy though we all could use more money we all have had probably times in our lives where money it fluctuates it's up and down it's not always going to be in abundance because unless you come from you know rockefellers or somebody <laughs> well like i said you know i've had money and i've had no money i've had lots of money and i've had no money um Going, going back, back to school, school. That's, that's a what? great one. Go follow your passion, Gina. Yes. Go follow your passion. It's Good for you, Gina. That's, that's transition. I did a Wisdom Wednesday scope you guys can catch on catch.me with Miss um, Teresa. Remember that one? Yeah. She's in her 70s, and this woman, she's been in the Volkswagen commercial. She's one of the Golden Sisters. She is so cute and so funny. She's doing stand-up comedy. 
at 77. And, and she is wealthy in the way that it matters, because right? Because she's doing what she loves. She she was an author. She was it's an agent. Beyond. She was my agent. She's She's yeah. been an actress. She's been an agent. She's been an, a, an author. Now she's a stand-up comedian. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The thing is, I have twins. So, yeah, we were wealthier financially before we had those kids. But I'm wealthier today because I have the experience of being a mom for these two wonderful kids. So remember, when you look at wealth, the definition of wealth is the most important thing. Wealth itself, money itself, you know, some people say it's the root of all evil. That's actually a horrible thing to believe because what happens energetically is you push it away. You don't want to do that. You need wealth to make a difference, to be and, ripples in the pond. And wealth is okay. It, it, it can be health, it actually. can be healthy because it gives you the freedom, the optimism, and you know, the different resources to follow whatever dream you have. And you can create Lovely wealth. Portion. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? Um, it do you you then have the freedom to follow your passion even further right so it's it's okay to create wealth and it's actually healthy it so is that's what I that's what the scope was all about. right so the fourth reason that wealth could lead to health if you're wise is when you have that freedom and that passion that Devin's talking about that optimism when you have that abundance thinking Okay, where you believe the best, you see people doing what you want to do, they're succeeding, then guess what? Stress is diminished. When stress is diminished, Anxiety. your cortisol levels lower. So this your is the heart. medical aspect you're, of it. You're taking care of your heart. The, med the cortisol lowers, you are healthier. Um, I never said money is not important, but money itself, what, what money gives you is what's most important. So what it gives you is, and you know what guys, if you go out and you do your best at a job and you're getting minimum wave, wage, mm -hmm. but you go and you give it your heart and soul. And you love it. And you do your, at night, your passion, that's healthy, that's wise. And believe me, that's abundance thinking, that's wealthy. So I'm gonna go over, today we talked about how being wealthy or abundance minded is really a way that you could be healthy if you're going to be wise about it the first way is we're recapping hey guys we're if recapping. you missed it you can watch the replay you guys we're yes. going to recap one more time we are writing oh, a book we are writing a book hey, you guys. sweetheart yes i love you guys we i really just, do i love you guys and i want you to achieve your make all your dreams come true if i can do it as a poor little girl from baton rouge louisiana growing up in shotgun shotgun shacks and not having a mom or a dad and in and out of foster homes you can do it too and gina you know what date with a purpose that's brilliant you know why when you do that you're on key focused we always say i i use this with my clients light when it's focused is very powerful it's diffused in the day and you could see fine but when you want laser accuracy which is what purpose gives you you could do wondrous things in medicine and in life. I mean, that's how laser surgery came about, right? We really focus that light. So if you are focusing on dating with a purpose, that's a very um, abundance-minded concept, then you are going to be more successful and healthy. So I'm going to recap again. Uh, wealthy or abundance-minded people tend to be optimists. They receive more social opportunities, so they have actually the freedom to be more successful in the end because people like to be with them. Positive thinking. You view others' success as adding to your opportunity to grow and learn and be wealthy and successful. And sharing, you guys. Click below. Yes. Sharing those is hard to share. And please follow me. Devin's got my handle in the text, in the, in the title. title. So, and finally, four, why wealth or abundance thinking could be more um, uh, healthy for you is that stress, the cortisol is released less, meaning you're healthier as a body, you feel better. So, and you don't have that worry around uh, money because that's just going to attract more worry. Exactly. So, you have to. Um, and this is a whole nother scope. I'm going to give you guys a specific business scope, you guys, because I know you want specific tips 
about business like I gave you guys tips on starting your business I'm gonna give you guys tips on getting your taxes done and staying living within your means and you know right. that kind of stuff too and so. then also I want to say you know yes positive thinking is important but one of the reasons Devin came to me and we're doing our collaboration both on the book and on these scopes is because it's not just about positive thinking, that's important, but the medical aspects that I hope to bring to you guys, I want those of you who are a little bit more skeptical about the concept of uh, positive thinking to know that this is all science-based. We didn't make it up because we live in the U.S. and California. It is all science-based. That is my background. I am a legal advocate and a certified coach. So Devin's information is wisdom-based and also statistically medically based. So for all I of was you doing it as a little girl and I didn't even know I was doing it. You know, daydreaming, focusing, being, uh, you know, focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. Thank you for joining, is, by the way. Is, is part of that process. And Manifesting, you, you hear me say that a lot. That's, you need to move in with me. Yeah, oh, come come on. On. I want to teach you about focus dating with purpose. I love that. And so she's like gonna on. she's gonna have some very good solo scopes without me. This is on Tuesdays. You can see the both of us together. Just click on the icon, follow, follow, click the share button, share with your peeps, and we'll yeah. have more of these types of conversations on Tuesdays. And you know, as I said, this is more of a health and wellness because that's my specialty uh, based. And Devin is very spiritual in her positive thinking. Tell them what CURE stands for. CURE stands for compassion, understanding, renewal, and empowerment. So what is that, right? And and there, you're moving in with me. <laughs> uh, so compassion, understanding, renewal, empowerment. My husband, Dr. Waldrop, and I called our program, he's a medical doctor, a surgeon, and I'm a health and wellness certified coach. We called it Cure because the cure is in you, okay? It's, our jobs is to help you uncover it. Yes, and it, and it goes hand in hand, you guys, with people who have eating dis disorders or any kind of medical situation that they have to overcome. It starts with your mind and how you feel about yourself, you know, and that's what's going to help you get through it, right? Yeah. Also, you know, the medical perspective um, is important because it, bol it it really bolsters what Devin's teaching you. And I want you to know one of my favorite um, quotes, it's from an, a very ancient Greek doctor. His name was uh, Herophilus. I love this quote, is, when health is absent, wealth is meaningless. Right? Mental issues. My mother was mentally ill. Moonlighting t TV. I talked about that. Mm -hmm. She had a nervous breakdown when I was five. That's why I was in and out of foster homes. Right. So I do know about mental illness. And that is part of somebody who has mental illness. I mean, my mother was the sweetest person on the planet. and She wouldn't hurt a fly. She was the most giving, loving person that I could remember because if she, if you wanted she'd give you the shirt off her off of her back you know so mentally ill how do you approach somebody who's mentally ill that may have some of these issues well I actually have worked with people um, who are mentally ill as a certified coach I am NOT a therapist or a psychiatrist you need to have a specialist just like you would never go to a mechanic to get your hair cut or to my husband who's a surgeon to uh, fix your tire. You go to the people who specialize. Uh, certified coaches come from the understanding that the people they're working with are stable, mentally stable, and focused and, and healthy. However, I often do referrals to psychiatrists and um, psychologists who help with those issues. So always reach out. Reach out to the people who specialize in it. Reach out to the people who love you. Um, that's why having um, wealth or abundance mentality helps you have a bigger crowd around you so you can ask for help, whether it be mental illness, whether it be advice in dating, or whether it be somebody support you after a divorce. So my response would be go ask somebody who specializes, thank you for joining, um, about where they can get health care, psychological health care, 
psychiatrists. Um, and very often they're covered by the state. Hi guys, or, hi, sorry, Johanna. hi Johanna. Johanna joined us. So, so listen, you guys. If you, we gave you a wealth of in, information here. <laughs> well, you can go. You can go back and watch the replay because we're gonna. We're going to uh, say goodbye for now. You feed your mind positive information. Surround yourself with goal-driven minded people. Good for you, Gina. Gina, that that's is abundance. Yes, right. There. That's what it's all about, you guys. Follow so your passion. Do what you love. Love what you do. You're going to be successful. Seriously, yeah. you know. So. I've already had like five careers in my 52 years. You know. Me too. I mean, she's she was an attorney, you guys, and now she's doing this because she loves people. She loves helping people. Um, and she read my book and she drew me into this. You know. So and Periscope is perfect. It's the perfect platform in which to give you guys this information. Because if we can enlighten you and educate yes. you in this area, then we're gonna be ripples in a pond and I we're gonna you. help heal our world. Yes. Literally, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And we have to start with ourselves. That's why we're doing this. So you guys can learn how to put yourself on that wealthy, abundance mining path. Because when you take care of yourself, no, I'm an angel lawyer, as the Dr. Waldrop says. I'm an angel lawyer because I want to make a difference. So but I see. I like law. to surround myself with beautiful, talented women. If you notice, I have introduced you guys to some beautiful, talented women, haven't I? Yes, you have. I'm not speaking for She's myself, funny. but you have. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So. so, so enough of this for today with us. Follow Miss Lisa so you can get more one-on-ones with her. And don't forget to follow me, too, because I've got some major surprises coming up. We've got Wisdom Wednesday tomorrow. And uh, you're going to see more of Lisa coaching me to be a life coach in the future. Uh, you would like to surround yourself with beautiful. I always said, you know, if one beautiful woman walks into a room, you're going to turn and look at her and go, wow, she's beautiful. But if you have several beautiful women walk into a room, you're going to turn around and go, wow, look at all those beautiful women. And they're friendly with each other. You right. know, It's like I love beautiful, smart, intelligent, inspiring women around me because that helps me grow as a woman, as a person, and I just surround myself with people like that in general. Well, and again, that's abundance mind of thinking. That's why she's successful in what she does. So if we on Tuesdays and Deb and all those other days, if she, we can show you what's worked for us and you could share, it's about sharing and caring, right? So if you could share with us your experiences, it will help other people. And when you help uplift other people, your life, because it's energetic so your life becomes more abundant we are made up of energy folks the whole universe is made up of energy okay so it's all about energy and that includes money 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 yeah. is energy you it guys sure it will flow to you a lot easy a lot easier when you're doing what you love you love what you do you're passionate about it uh, you're giving back to the community you're being positive more than negative in your right. life because then you're blocking the flow of energy. So get rid of the negative thoughts and know that you can be and do whatever it is you wish to do in life. And it's shown, again, um, studies show people with faith, and I mean faith in themselves, faith in something bigger than themselves, people who give back have happier and longer life so again this is science-based guys this is not just some new age fancy thinking mm -hmm. this is what we've lived this is what we've seen this is what our book is going to explore and it's important somebody had said they have a lot of energy um, if you know my story I was I was overweight I was 153 at 54 that made me weak I didn't have energy I didn't have energy to feel like this to do this work and now I've lost 42 pounds in just, uh, I think it's eight weeks now. And I could do this all night because I have energy. So it's not just energy out there, energy that that is unseen. It's also the energy that's within us that we feel and when you're when excited, we're healthy. When you're excited about what you do, then it's not like work and you have energy around that because you're passionate about it. That's why my husband can be in the, in the garage for hours playing music hours 
because it just it's it's his passion it's right. what comes naturally to him but a lot of people especially in in the medical field in the caregiving field mothers parents they tend to give to everyone else except themselves that's a whole nother scope you're yes gonna i'm going to do a scope on that so but i want to tell you one thing because it has to do with abundance what's going to happen if you're on an airplane what do they tell you if oxygen is put an issue. it on yourself first yes now as a mom of 10 year olds twins i would be tempted to put it on my children but unless i have it on and show them what to do they're 10 they're going to freak out and all three of us are going to pass that mm -hmm. i have to put it on myself first show them what to do be an example and then give it to them and pass it on between the three of us so Devin and i today are passing on these hints these tips for those of you who joined you could watch it on replay and my handle is in the title um, we hope that you've enjoyed it today. We hope you got some good information. Hey, Matthew, and we hope to see you. I will see you with Devin next Tuesday. I'm looking forward to it. Bye. Okay, you guys. Um, oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Well, what's for dinner with Ron? <laughs> I'm hungry, too. Uh, I'm not cooking today. He wants Mondays, a, guys. He, he wants a salad, so we're probably going to have a salad today. Oh, they, she makes the best <laughs> kale salad, by the way. Now that oh, I know he's gonna make the salad, but tonight. now that I've, I've lost those pounds, I'm craving your Veggies. kale salad. Yeah, I more know. salad. I only, I'm She's probably gonna go go get a juice after this and run some more errands. So I may catch up with you guys after this too. But um, thank you for joining us. Hey we love you guys. Be the best you you can be. Um, definitely go to catch k a t c h dot me if you missed my scope on money which i did on sunday that's why she was following up with the health yes. benefits and i'll always do that you know in order to let you guys know this isn't just crazy thinking or positive thinking with no basis devin and i have walked this walk all right and it's real and it's scientifically based so three part, part beings mind body and spirit guys keep it in balance okay? and, and join us join us uh, join us we love Tuesday. you. Don't forget to follow. Follow Miss Lisa here because she's going to be talking to you one on one a lot more. Okay. Yes. yes. Let me know what you want to talk about. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you later.